Hello, my name is Andrew Vance Lars, and in this video series, we're going to go over how you can use the Redux library with Riot.js. Redux is a state management library that is gaining a lot of traction in the React community, but luckily it is not specifically tied to React, and we can use it with Riot.js with relative ease. We will cover using Redux and Riot.js together here, but for a much more detailed look at Redux itself, you can't beat the Egghead IO videos by Redux's creator, Dan Abramov. If you're not familiar with Riot.js yet, you might want to check out my previous videos to get started. In this video, we'll cover getting Redux installed, configuring the Redux store, using the store to get state into Riot.js components, and in the videos to follow, we'll cover dispatching actions, handling those actions through a reducer, putting it all together to update Riot tags based on actions in other tags. Let's get started. For these examples, we're going to pick up where we left off on, in the Riot with Webpack introduction. In order to use Redux, we're going to need to install that module. So I'm going to start by running an npm install save Redux. And now that we have the Redux module installed, I'm going to use our npm script to run Webpack's dev server. By typing npm run dev. So we can look at the browser and refresh just to make sure our page is still being served by Webpack's dev server. Everything checks out, so we're ready to get started. So with Redux installed, First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a reference to it in our index.js file. So I'm going to add var redux equals require redux, and that's going to pull the redux library into our file. And now that we have redux, the next thing we need to do is create a reducer function. So I'm going to add var reducer. I'm going to set it to equal a function that takes two arguments. The first one is state, and the second one is action. Our reducer needs to always return a state. So for now, we're just going to return the state that's passed in. So we'll make no modifications, we won't return a new object, we'll just pass it right on through. And because we're running Webpack with Babel, we can use some ES6, sorry, ES2015 syntax. So I can set a default value to state right inside the arguments for the function. So I'll set that to equal an object, and we're gonna give it a title property with a default value of default title. Now that we have the reducer, we can use that to create a store, and the store is basically going to contain our state for our application. So to do that, we'll call the create store method on the Redux object, and we'll assign its value back into Redux store. Now I'm going to take my document.add event listener line, and I'm just going to break that down into multiple lines so that we have some room to work. I don't want to take the Redux store object that I just created, and I want to pass it into my sample output tag, and I'm going to do that by passing an object, and I'm going to assign a store property on that object, the value of Redux store. So now we're taking that store that Redux created with our reducer, and we're passing it into our Riot tag so that we can use it. Now that we're passing that in there, let's go into our sample output.tag file and make some changes. I'm going to replace the title with a call to this.ops.store, and that's going to give us that Redux store object that we just passed in. And the store object has a get state method on it that allows us to get access to the state that we're returning from our reducer. And because that state has a title property, we can call that, and that should assign the h1 value to the title that we pass back from our state. Which if we look at index.js, remember that is the value default title. And since we're running Webpack's dev server, it's been rebuilding with each change. So we should be able to go into our browser, refresh, and see that the state is returning that default title value, and our tag is using it just by passing the store in to the tag. We haven't done anything super exciting at this point, but we have laid the groundwork, and we know that we have a Redux store, a reducer, and our tags all connected and wired up properly. So next time we can build on that, we can start introducing the concept of actions. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to keep an eye out for the next video in the series.